Today we're going to do a review on the Malfeasance Exotic Hand Cannon and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, today I wanted to do a review on the new Exotic Hand Cannon Malfeasance and let you guys know if it's actually good or not. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered in the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for the month of November, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So there are a lot of videos circling around the interwebs on how to get the Malfeasance's exotic hand cannon, which is the very reason why I didn't make a video on it. But in short, you need to have a special Ascendant Primeval spawn inside of the Gambit game mode, and your team needs to kill it before the other team does in order to get the quest. Now, there are a series of Gambit requirements that need to be completed as well as a new version of the Corrupted Strike from which, as of this video, is glitched and you can have up to 6 players in that one strike. Once all requirements are completed, then head to the Drifter and get your weapon. Let me know in the comments if you already have your Malfacens or if you're still grinding to get that special Primeval to spawn. The following information comes from DestinyTracker.com. On paper, the Malfacens has an RPM of 180, which is actually 40 higher than the Better Devils, an impact of 78, a range of 46, stability and reload speed of 82, and a handling of 36. As for its hidden stats, it has a zoom of 14, an inventory size of 57, an aim assist of 50, and a recoil direction of 98. As for its perks, we have the intrinsic perk called Explosive Shadow, which shoot tainted slugs that burrow into the enemy. Stacking enough slugs causes them to explode. Then we have Corkscrew Rifling, Extended Mag, Taken Predator, which bonus damage against taken enemies and Gambit Invaders, as well as Heavy Grip. Now that all of that is out of the way, how does it actually perform? Well, from my perspective, the stability on this gun is superb. It has great impact and range for a hand cannon and 15 rounds in the magazine definitely makes this hand cannon um, the one with the highest mag without mods. In Gambit, this thing is truly amazing even against enemies that aren't taken. It takes out small enemies like dregs and thralls with a one shot headshot or a two shot body shot. It'll take out red bar shielded enemies in a 3 shot headshot or a 2 shot headshot with a 1 shot body shot to follow up. Against Taken and Invaders, this thing is straight up nasty. The extra damage from Taken Predator is definitely no joke. In normal PvE, it plays out the same as it does in Gambit. PvP on the other hand is another story. I had time to test out the Malfacence and get a feel for the gun a little bit before actually giving the Malfacence a rating in PvP. Now, I am not a PvP god whatsoever, but I don't suck at PvP either. The Malfacence I feel in the Crucible is pretty lackluster and underrated. The hype to get this weapon, and yes, I'm sorry, but it's pretty much a PvE hype and strictly for PvE and Gambit. The Malfacence does decently in the Crucible. It's not bad, but it's not that good either. I feel that it's in its own little happy medium zone. Granted, this weapon does well in PvP, but since it lacks a great deal of handling, I found myself to constantly be getting outgunned by Trust, Luna's Howl, and Bygones a very good amount of the time. Now, depending on how much resilience your opponent has and taking into account that you're going into a 1v1, the Malfacence is a 3-4 headshot if you are hitting all of your crits. If you can't hit your headshots, then don't bother with this hand cannon. The Malfacence is a very high risk, high reward weapon in PvP. You really need a lot of skill to use this weapon in PvP and I can't stress that enough. Unfortunately, weapons that have faster RPM like SMGs or have a better damage falloff at range like the Bygones just destroy the Malfacens all day. But this is not saying that you won't win some of those gunfights and you definitely should still go after the Malfacens. But I feel that the rounds from Explosive Shadow should do more damage and for three reasons. Reason number one, the Malfacens shoots slugs which is probably the strongest hitting type around for shotguns. Yeah, I know that the Malfacence isn't a shotgun, 
but the point is that the Malfatians still shoot slugs. Reason number two. In my opinion, the slug rounds should be doing dot damage or damage over time due to the burrowing effect into the enemy's body, but they don't. And reason number three. Stacking those slugs pretty much means nothing in PvP because by the time the exploding takes effect, the target is already dead due to base damage. Yes, there are perks out there that could help out the Malfacents a little, like precision, kinetic, or hand cannon weapon targeting, which gives you improved target acquisition, accuracy, and ADS speed for hand cannons, etc. And there are perks out there that help with the reload speed as well. Overall, the Malfacents is an okay exotic, but it is in dire need of a few buffs in regard to PvP in order to make it competitive, like the Ace of Spades. But until Bungie does buff the Malfacents, whenever that'll be, mine will only be used for Gambit. So for those who already have their Malfacents, what do you guys think about the gun? Do you like it as it is, or do you guys think that it needs a buff as well? Let me know in the comments section below. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, Less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.